Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Iraqi Dinar. Make sure to subscribe for more exciting updates and financial news. Today, I've got fresh intel from top sources like Bruce, Frank26, and more. So let's jump right into it. Intel Group Bruce is sharing some highly encouraging news. He mentioned that there's a strong possibility that exchanges could start Friday or over the weekend. The momentum is building, and Bruce is very optimistic about the chances of these exchanges kicking off sooner perhaps as early as this weekend. That's definitely something to keep an eye on. From Frank26, we're hearing that everything is ready for the float to make the Iraqi dinar international. According to him, all the groundwork up to the float is done, and the next step is to move from the float to the real effective exchange rate. This means we're getting closer to seeing some big shifts in the value of the dinar. The World Bank has issued a very optimistic report, highlighted by news guru Man and Clear, which confirms that Iraq is making major transformations in its business environment. The report points out that Iraq has made significant strides in key areas such as regulatory frameworks, public services, and operational efficiency. This progress sets a positive foundation for Iraq's future economic development. On another front, there are ongoing concerns from the Association of Exchange Companies in Mosul. They are calling on the Central Bank of Iraq to allow exchange companies in the Nineveh Governorate to enter the currency selling window. Currently, they are unable to obtain dollars at the central bank's rate, which is causing significant challenges for local businesses. Mosul merchants are now forced to buy goods from Baghdad instead of directly from outside Iraq, adding unnecessary complexity and cost to their operations. The head of the association, Abdullah Akil, explained that despite complying with all the central bank's requirements for over a year, they are still being denied access to this critical window. He's urging Iraqi authorities to resolve this issue, as it's negatively affecting the region's economic situation. So, as we wrap up today's updates, it's clear that Iraq's financial landscape is undergoing significant changes, and the potential for currency revaluations and system upgrades is becoming more apparent. For those of you closely watching the Iraqi dinar, there's a lot to stay excited about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.